Hello there, people. Welcome back to the Eagle Byte 83 channel where the past never dies. I'm, of course, your host, Eagle Byte. And tonight, we are going to be playing some more Bud Tucker in Double Trouble. That's right, we are going to continue our adventure in Bud Tucker's uh, game. Uh, but uh, first, I just want to say I'm sorry I didn't stream yesterday. I had some weird stomach issues. Um, it's gone now, so I feel better today, which is nice to experience. Um, tonight I'm drinking iced tea, but not the one that I like. This is a sugar-free variant, which tastes a little bit different. Um, unfortunately that is kind of a necessary evil now, because I need to like slowly wean myself off the iced tea. If I want to try to get my health more into shape, you know. Um, but yeah, that is it. Let's uh, see if we can uh, uh, get this show rolling, shall we? Yes. 6 8. Perfect. Um, what did. Oh, yeah, we are going to be do. We're going to go to the park today. Yeah, I remember now. Okay, cool. Let's do this. <laughs> and here we go. Elder, welcome back, man. You never got to see the intro before, so you might as well see it now. Really? Pizza you like? A song, a smile, and an anchovy pizza. Ah, bud! It is finished! My greatest creation is complete! Is that the great mystery invention you've had hidden away? It most certainly is! Make haste to my laboratory with one of your special pizzas! Sure thing, Professor. I'll start grating the chocolate right away. <laughs> yeah, pizza you like. Is the ad break over? Oh, okay, okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I was just saying, uh, you might as well see the intro since you didn't see it last time. This is how we basically started the game. Pizza? Wunderbar. Aha! I see you are still using my multi-dimensional personal pocket transporter. Yeah, though I still haven't found that elephant I put in there last week. Ah, teasing troubles, nothing more. So, Prof, come on, where's this new invention of yours? All in good time, bud. Let me take the pizza. Wow, it, it looks great, Prof, but what does it do? Do? Watch this. Hey, that's impressive. You've invented a machine to destroy pizzas. Ah, Pad, the demonstration is only half complete. <laughs> It's a duplication machine. Precisely. But how? What? It's really quite simple, bud. You've heard of quantum theory? The indeterminacy effect? Whoa, Professor, spare me the physics. 
Just think of the possibilities. Well, you could solve the world's food problems. Double the number of pizzas baked in a day. Though, I'd have to be copied to deliver them all. I'm sorry, man. But copying people just isn't possible. It seems to be something to do with brainwave patterns. Anyone copied would have no memory and would have to be taught everything again. Perhaps it's just as well. Imagine if someone copied Lady Prime Ministers. Oh. <laughs> Professor, my dear chap. Of course you really he's British. Be more careful. It was a most unfortunate mistake to use a public telephone line. Not the most secure means of communication. All I wonder if that is Stewie's voice actor. Tap. Isn't that right, Egbert? Yeah, boss, it was real easy. All I needed to do was, uh... Shut up, Egbert! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah. This is my bit! Uh, uh, what is it you want with me? I have no money. Money? <laughs> I want more than money. I want power. Absolute power. Power over all those idiots who laughed at me. Mrs. Wimplethorpe, Jumbo Jenkinson, my mummy, and cats. I want all cats to be made illegal, especially white ones. You know, those ones with the long hair, the smug-looking ones. And your machine will give me that power. As one genius to another, I can only thank you effusively for delivering the means to complete my master plan. <laughs> Tasty. Egbert, please escort the professor to our secret headquarters. Norris, secure the machine. Oh. Oh. Big Al Strip Joint, starring Lola, CD Street, Barryville. Hmm. I wonder if that's where they've taken the professor. There's only one way to find out. I've always thought I'd make great hero material. CD Street, Barryville, and step on it. Hey, this taxi's done 200,000 miles. Would you ask your grandma to run in the Olympics? It seems to be doing good, though. I lose my no And that's how we ended up in the hotel room. Though I don't understand exactly how we ended up in the hotel room in the first place. Because, I mean, shouldn't we be down in, in the lobby where everything is trashed? I don't know how we got up here. That's kind of weird. But yeah, okay. Um, okay, so let's see if we can uh, load what we... Yeah, that one. Here we go. So this should help me find my way around. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can go to the map uh, or to the park now. Yeah. There it is. Okay. So we're heading to the park now. What were we doing in the park? Well, the park is where 
there are people who s probably saw the professor being abducted, something like that. Lola told us to go to the park. It's an ordinary standpipe made from zinc. A sprinkler, I think. Gardening's not my scene. There's a hole in the hose. This is great for executive stress relief. <laughs> when I see stuff that's obviously supposed to be interacted with later on, I think... That's impossible. Okay. I always, like, want to see if I have anything that I can use from the, like, from the get-go. Um, obviously, we are supposed to use the sprinkler at some point to water the flower. But there's a hole in the hose, so we're going to need to patch that up. A monument to Bob Connor, whoever he is. Yeah, if I could just remove it. Oh, it's the Daily Yak. Got a newspaper. Cat rescues sardine. Weasel operated electric pumpkin invented. New source of power claims scientist. Clam wins race to Saturn. Museum <laughs> exhibition success. Okay, Elder, um, give us a pun on something like this. Give me a pun on the clam going to Saturn and beating us. This guy is the high priest of Hobo, and he's got really bad body odor. Hi there, old dude. I'm Bud Tucker. Can you help me? I could, but as you can hear, my stomach is empty, and I can't think on an empty stomach. By the way, that. my name is Royston, young sir. Okay. So, Royston, when did you last eat? Three? No. I tell a lie, it was four nights ago. It was the night I ate a fish cake. I remember it well. That fish cake keeps repeating on me. Pardon? That fish cake keeps repeating on me. Why are you living in a square old box? There's no room in a triangle. Hmm. Oh. Never thought of that. You do look in a sorry state. I've had a hard life. I don't wish to be rude, but what is your excuse? Oh. The 90s culture shock. Yes, it is somewhat of a shock, isn't it? Still, you have to move with the times, Roy. Royston. The name is Royston. I dislike the short mean of names. How come? I attended school with a boy named Fatridge Bumford. <laughs> what did they shorten it to? Oh, I despair at the youth of today. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see if we can give him the tie, maybe? I'll keep that. Okay, maybe not. I'm going to save it for later. I'm not giving that away. Mm. He wants food. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not giving away all of my goodies. Okay, okay. Um, okay, let's Hi talk there, to Royston. some more. Hello, see. good sir. Um... I'm looking for a friend of mine. Can you help me? The hunger pains are bad today. You haven't a little food to ease the pain, have you, young sir? Why, 
I don't, but I may be able to get some. I'll see what I can do. Okay, so we do know we can go back to the bakery, but the bakery... We've already used the sticky bun there. I wonder if I'm supposed to go and, like, get another one, but it is always rare that you'd use, like, the same items for... Like, go back and get an... Uh, maybe, maybe. We'll see. We'll, we'll try it out. What, you can't comment on the cardboard box? Really? Okay. Why? Okay. Royston. No, he doesn't want to card comment on the cardboard box. Huh. <laughs> no, I thought he was going to... I thought he might want to wash up a little bit, but... Maybe not. Alright, let's go back to the mall. Uh, yeah. Okay, maybe the maybe the burger joint. We'll see. Hello, sir. Can I help you? Hey, could I get some service here? Certainly, oh. sir. You want fries with your burger? Um. No, no. I don't uh, want fries. Thanks. Well, what do you want? Uh, I'll give you a sec. An alligator sandwich? An alligator sandwich and make it snappy. I'm sorry, sir. We're out of bread. Okay, what about the, the other choice? Hello, sir. Can I help you? Hey, could I? Certainly. With the owner of the Startle I don't Club, want... Well? Hmm. Cold fries and a burger that tastes like rubber. I'm sorry, sir. We don't do cold fries and rubber burgers. You did last week. <laughs> um okay. So they're out of Oh wait. What can I do with hmm. I got a bar of soap, got blue thing. Uh Well obviously he's not gonna give me any Hello. Hey, certainly. Bunny, I don't feel hungry anymore. Thanks. Well, what do you want? Well, nothing. I got a split. All right. Maybe, maybe the baker. We'll check out the baker. Oh, wait, was there four places to go? We can go to the museum as well. Oh. All right, let's, let's check the, check the baker first. It's you again. What you hanging around for, kid? I heard the smoke alarm and thought you might need some help. You? Help? Right, pigs might fly. So you've got your pilot's license then? Look, kid, I knew you were trouble the first time I saw you. Now beat it. Look, I want some food. It's a pity there's no sticky buns in there. Just as well I have the brains and you... Yeah, 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 yeah. Pick up. It's not my type. What 
put the bread? Oh, wait. There's bread of baking in there. Wait a minute. What did your last servant die of? What? Just from wanting you to pick up bread? This was fresh from the oven. Last week. Why the hell can I look at it? Okay, never mind. I thought, I thought we could like maybe pick up some bread here and then give it to the burgers, and, you know, so actually it's like a, a crafting ingredient that we can bring there. That was obviously the wrong choice. I still feel like there's something we are supposed to do here at the burger joint. Otherwise there wouldn't be like a, a, a place here. Hey, could I get here. some? Certainly, sir. You want fries with your burger? There's no, like, I, yes, I want fries. Give it to me so I can give it to Royston. <gasps> Excuse me. Hold the mayonnaise, I'm out of here. About the I wouldn't want his job. Hmm. I can't see a handle. I can't pick that up. I can't move that. Uh, what about... Oh, wait. Yeah, wait. I see reality has eluded you again. No, I might be onto something here. Like, use something to catch the burgers that come out of here. Yeah. I feel like because there's a, I can do something with the burger shoot, but I don't have, oh, okay. Let's go to the museum. Maybe we need something there. Barely what? There must be one great story in there. Hi there! What's going on? What? Who said that? It's Bud. Bud Tucker. Bud Tucker? Oh, reality. What were your parents then? Comedians? I'm looking for my friend, the professor. Yeah, well, he ain't around here. How can you tell from behind there? Strange and eldritch psychic powers. That's how. <laughs> yeah, sure. Psychic powers. See? I knew you'd be cynical. Okay, then. What color is my jacket? Black. Black? Not even close. Yeah, but you haven't had the accident with the barrel of oil yet. <laughs> I give up. Yep. I knew you were going to say that. Oh, so maybe there's going to be an accident in this game with a barrel of oil. That would be interesting, actually. They always hover when you read a newspaper. Come off it! I can't pick that up. Okay, fine. Uh, nothing here. Yeah, right. No, actually, Bud, but yeah, okay. Uh, give newspaper to newspaper. Reader. My need is greater than theirs. They can't, like, switch it out. Hey, I don't want to wear something so unfashionable. Okay. 
Very well. Roller skates. Bodicea's skates. You can see where the wheel spikes went. Hey, I got a roller skate. Okay. Or two. What great brushwork. <laughs> Did they actually destroy part of the painting to put up like a fire extinguisher there? <laughs> Where would you want me to put it? I think I can see a train in the distance. Well, I don't see any way to open it. Fishes. What about this dog that's like biting the the door? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, you want me to do what? Hey, that sounds surreal. Okay. Jammy toast. Now this is art that I can relate to. I really don't need it. Okay. Well, he's in the right place. What is this? Open. I don't think he can hear. Hey! What are you up to, you little varmint? Trying to steal something? Uh. I was only looking. It is a museum, isn't it? Yes. Hey, you can look, but don't touch. And no sniffing the whale. Sniffing the whale. Yeah. We've already worn out three this week. Oh, the whale up here. Yeah. A little annoying that the sleep, sleep loop is still going on even though we're talking to him. Uh... Who owns this museum anyway? Maryville City Council. Who's the top man there? Mr. Tate? Who else? I can't seem to escape that name. I'm gonna hold on to that. Hey, 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 let's not be too generous. No, I, I might have use of it later. Hey! What are you up to, you little varmint? Trying to steal something? Okay, maybe we were supposed to use the roller skates to skate past here. What do you take me for? Well, Sonny, I reckon a midget with zips about fits the bill. Hey, don't get personal. You got a problem, pal? Yeah, well, that's the trouble. Double trouble. Sorry. Uh, What's the trouble? I'm looking after these here exhibits in the exhibition. Why is that a problem? See the star exhibit, sir? Yeah. I've been watching over that 24 hours a day. I ain't had no shut eye. Is it very valuable? Not in bucks. But to them they're trained spotters. It's like it's like something really rare. Hey, wow, that is rare.
catch you later. Well, what is the main attraction? Is it the whale or is it like I don't get it? Hey, what are you up to, you little varmint? Oh, he dropped the book. Trying to steal something? Wait a minute. Hey, Nevin. I thought I'd look at some old relics. <laughs> and I'll be the last hey, if you keep yakking like that. Sorry if I disturbed you. Well, that's a lot of good being hey, sorry. Hey, well, I'll never get back to sleep now. I mean, you kind of are. Hey, Nevin. Hey, Nevin. Okay. He puts down the book on on the side whenever right. I don't think he can hear. Why wouldn't he be able to hear? <laughs> oh, it worked! Let me just say this. That was such a far-fetched idea because even if we put roller skates on them, like in a game like Day, Day of the Tentacle, for instance, you'd need something that makes the guy wake up so he will actually move somewhere, you know, and start rolling away. Here, we just put on the roller skates and suddenly he starts like rolling around. It's like, what? He was asleep. What woke him up, you know? Fashion disaster alert. We're just stealing now. Fashion disaster alert. Okay, so obviously we need a red raincoat for something. A poor guy. A way out of this place. Yeah, well... What am I supposed to do with a red raincoat? Fashion disaster alert. This game is giving me items that I have no clue what I'm supposed to do with. I mean, even LucasArts games usually are... They're pretty... Like, it's a bit of a stretch finding out what they're supposed to be used for. But I have no idea, literally, like... Yeah, well, see, I can't put it on. The tie doesn't work either. You could use this to see in the dark. Really? Um, what if... Try something else. I don't know. I'm calling the men in the white coats. Alright, you don't need to be so snappy. Okay, so we got a red raincoat from that, and we have a 
newspaper. Cat rescue sardine. Weasel operated electric. There's probably like some kind of clue here. Museum exhibition success. Yeah, that led us to the museum. Oh, so maybe that's the only thing we needed the paper for. Probably. So now everything hinges on a red raincoat. Hmm. Red raincoat. Nurse! <laughs> You're totally insane, dude! That's not a good idea. I think I should keep it. Oh, okay. You could you could lurk if you want to. You know? I'm just saying. But yeah, thank you for stopping by, man. Wait. No. Uh huh. A sprinkler, I think. Gardening's not my scene. Hmm. The lights are on, but no one's home. Hmm. I don't want to, okay? It's a good thing I've got enough brains for both of us. Hmm. I'm gonna look around this mall a little bit. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. That's too useful to give away. Ahoy there again, Captain! It be my fine young nautical friend. Now what be ye a wantin'? I'm on a mission. Have you seen this man? Ah! That funny scene. Some. Uh. So you. No, though the captain won't sleep. Hey, that's my friend. The captain apologizes, but your fair took the wind from his sail. Yeah, well. Wait. It looks like a real salty. S Ahoy there again, Captain. It be my. Hey, how's the guild stuff going, Captain? Ah, it's grand, me young deckhand. So are you wanting to be a join-in? Hey, I'd love to, but I don't have the photo. Tis a pity for it be a grand day to feel a swell beneath the decks and the salt winds in your sou'wester. Hey, photo. don't worry, I'll be back soon. I need a photo. What of my... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm it's these young people Wait a minute. A photo. There we go. Excuse me? There we go. Got my photos. Yeah, look at the photos. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Wait, what was that? 
Have we tar talked to him properly? Hello there. What can I do for you, young sir? Have you ever seen this guy? Hey, can I have that photo? What for? I want to use it to fright. Look, this is serious. No. Alright, no. Thanks, but. Oh, I. Th well, I don't exactly know how to get food right now, but. We're on another trail now, get, uh, joining the guild, the Fisher's Guild. Dude. Hey, Captain! I've got the photo and I want to join the guild. Ah, that'd be a fine night, Ness. Now it's all hands to the mainsail to sign your name. Does that mean I'm a member? That ye be with the presentation of the sailor's friend. Mm -hmm. Aha. Thanks, Captain. That's just what I need. Hey, I'm in the guild. And I got a net. I should catch something with this. Yeah, the burger. Um. It's these young people to die, you see. It's not like it was me out there. Thank you. Mmm, made with 100% something or other. Alright. Now we're getting somewhere. Excuse me. Hi there, Royston. Master Tucker returns. Ah, what is that I smell? Well, if it's not the flowers or food, then one of us is in big trouble. <laughs> that smell can only mean one thing. Still hungry? Starving, young sir. Quick, run for cover! It's an earthquake! And no, it's the sound of hunger, young sir. I haven't eaten in days. Have you any food? Sure, get stuck into this. Oh, thank you, kind sir. This should stem my hunger. Please, come into my home and we will talk. Uh, I'm willing to bet it's going to be bigger on the inside than, you know. Yeah, I knew it. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Wow, this place is larger than the Taj Mahal. Yes, I need the space for my bits and bobs. I would like to repay you for the food that you gave to me. Look around, see if there is anything that may be of use to you. Thanks, I love looking through junk. Uh, uh, sorry, bits and bobs. Please, be my guest. Mm -hmm. Where'd you get this great box? I used to teach origami uh, for Outward Bound. What if it rains? I'm an expert at papier-mâché. Hasta la vista, useless junk collection dude. What's the story on the elephant? Fido was a close and trusted friend. Sad. Very sad. Fido must have been the only African elephant to ever die bungee jumping. I <laughs> love that elephant. We'll never be parted. I thought you said I could have what I liked. That is true, my good friend. But would you be so cruel as to part a lonely man from his one and only true love? It's a good job you didn't try for children. 
And why might that be? I despair for the youth of yesterday. Uh, lobster pot. Interesting. What about the crown? The crown? That was placed in my possession by an overthrown king. King Fanto Magamba Olaga. Strange name for a man, considering he was born in Croydon. Nevertheless, I gave him my word that I would keep the crown should he return to power, and one day I would return it to him. Are you sure you're not making all this up? As sure as that painting is that of the Mona Lisa. But that's not the Mona Lisa. I never did say I was an art expert. <laughs> How about the old woman? Or the box? Alas, the box belongs to the old woman who was squashed when Fido was bungee jumping. In her day, she was a star. She appeared in a film called The Cute Bunnies Have a Nice Picnic. <laughs> the painting was a prop in the film, which was financed by King Fanto Magamba Olaga. The film so frightened his people, they threw him out of the country. What did the old lady keep in the box? Her antique mango collection. <laughs> Would you like to see it? No, thanks. Antique mango collection. Okay. Do you want the painting? No. Then can I have it? I'm looking after it for someone. Sorry. I'll bet you're looking after that lobster pot for Moby Dick. No, I found that pot one night last week. Strange, that. What was so strange? I heard a truck just outside the park, and voices, two male and one female. Then I heard shouting. I went to look. And? I saw a large truck driving away, and this pot must have fallen off. So it fell off the back of a truck? Yes. One can only guess that the truck came from the docks. The docks. Gee, thanks. I prefer lobsters to crabs. Probably a new area. Thanks. Catch you later. Well, we still haven't asked him about the professor. Was this supposed to imply that the truck was of the professor? Like, w that the truck was the professor being kidnapped. Meanwhile, elsewhere in Barryville. Or professor, is he still being tortured? we have been patient so far, but you are running out of time. If you continue to resist, we will be forced to employ more, uh, direct methods. Now tell me, and tell me quickly, how do you turn on the machine? I won't tell you. I won't be part of your nefarious plans. Very well. If you won't cooperate, you leave me with little choice. Norris, show the professor your holiday snaps. I mean, he doesn't uh, have the end. Sure thing, boss. Or the end. This is though? me on the beach next to the sea on the sand. And this is an ice cream cone, what I had. And this is when my little Nikki buried me in the sand up to my nuts. <laughs> Alright, so I got a lobster trap, or lobster pot, but can I... I can't, I can't talk to him again? What? Really? Okay, so I guess we're supposed to think that... Uh, okay. Yeah, what about the sprinkler? We'll probably have to do something with that at a later time. Um, let's see. We should have the docks. No. No, we don't. But we have a lobster pot. Maybe we should check it with, uh, with uh, the fisher guy at the mall. Lobsters really live in these things? Ahoy there again, Captain! 
It be my fine young nautical friend. Now what be ye a wantin'? To sing sea shanties and talk about nets. Ah, uh, you be a boy after the captain's heart. However, I just remembered something. And what be that, me young barnacle bell? I've got a large wet fish to catch. Then the captain wishes you well. I don't think I could live without it. Hmm. Hey, buddy, try this one. Use brain to think of sensible suggestion. Hmm. Um, it's these young people who the owner of the startled trout, Hard 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 Wait, the lobster trap. Um, it's these young people today, you see. Whoa, serial killer city. Did you ever see Marathon Man? Yo, are you a dental practitioner? No, I'm a plumber in disguise. What do you want? I've got a plumbing job for you at the jail. Oh, really? Yeah, Pansy sprung a leak. Have you been at my embalming fluid, boy? Hey, it's not Christmas. I'll keep it. I'll hang on to it for now. Try something else. Um, it's these young people today, you see. It's not like it was now, I genuinely don't think there's anything else for me to do here than getting that. Uh, what was it we we got from him? We got something. I don't. I don't even remember now. It wasn't that coin? Was it? Or was it the coin? It could have been the coin. Yeah, I think it was. Hmm. Hey, Dell, what's cooking? Hey, it's the guy with a fashion problem. Have you seen my friend, the professor? Yeah, sure. I'm always talking to eggheads. What's he look like? Egghead? I hope you're yoking. Yeah, kid, I know how to crack him. Yeah, so you have seen him. Sorry, kid, can't help you right now. But I am expecting a consignment of slightly shop-soiled architects. You interested, kid? I don't think so, somehow. Thanks anyway. It's Bud again. What's new? Sentient life? Uh, pull ring soda can? Can you tell me where the docks ah. are? Okay. Certainly. Leave them all. Turn left. Left again. Left twice more. Right. 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 Left. Right. Down. Left. Left at the man standing on the corner. Right. And then left. Got that? No problem. Catch you later. 
I think. All right, we're gonna remember to always come back to the brain and talk if if I don't like know directions, you know. So it kind of looks like these places are the only places on this map, at least, that we're gonna be able to uh, visit because it's taken up most of the map here. Might as well save here. And here too. Dun, 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 dun. Spoon holder. Okay. A commemoration of Olaf Particle and his wrestling prawns. Inflatable dog. It's man's best inflatable friend. Okay. All these pointless suggestions. Well, here is a barrel of oil, Elder. I wonder if that's going to be... Uh... Yeah. I don't think I'll get in that way. Do you play computer games often? <clears throat> Do you know who invented the roller door? No, me neither. Oh, give me a break. This guy looks like Vera, just a couple of steps further up the evolutionary scale. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? I've never seen you before. What are you doing around here? I was wondering, what's in the warehouse? Nothing that would interest you, lad. Uh, Mr. Tate stopped the guided tours. That's why I'm here. Uh, the only people allowed in are employees. Well, I'm an employee. Let's see a security pass then. Maybe later. Okay, we need that, apparently. Hey, how's it going? You again. And they said it would be exciting being. I'd like a job as a fisherman. You as a fisherman? Ha ha ha! Billy would use you for bait. Billy? Who's he? He's the head crewman on the trawlers. He does all the iron and firing for Mr. Tate. But he hires men, not boys. Well, it's a good job you're a security guard and not a fisherman. Lucky for you I'm not a fisherman. Now watch your lip, kid, or I'll get me cousin. <laughs> Who's your cousin? The doorman at a kindergarten? No, he's the bouncer at Big Owls. Right. So intellect is a family trait. Oh, no. We've never had our photograph taken together. Why is that? Camera shy? <laughs> Beat it, kid, or you'll wind up as fish bait. Yeah, he's pissing off everybody. He just loves doing that, apparently. Hey, some extremely useful things. Probably. Chainsaw fish? Yeah, get that. The tropical chainsaw fish, a very rare species. Ladies and gentlemen, I now have a chainsaw fish. The tropical chainsaw fish, a very rare species. Wow, okay. Fins ain't what they used to be for this shark. Yeah. Can I pick it up? Probably not, but let's try it. What would I need that for? I don't know. What do you need any of this for? 
Jesus. Bob's fish. Oh, I can't go any any further. Okay, never mind. See what's uh, down by the water. Oh, look at this. Billy Dosser. Well, he looks the part. Ahoy there, Captain! Boss, Captain? Well, I'm just Billy. Aren't you the captain? Who, me? I'm just the apprentice. An apprentice? At your age? Aye, it takes a lifetime's experience to be a fisherman. I mean, it takes years just to knit the chunky jumpers. My Uncle Albert was 82 when he finally finished his apprenticeship. Okay. Really? This is fascinating. Honestly? Do you want to hear a tale about my cruel mistress, the sea? Maybe later. Much later. Oh, go on. I've learned them all. Stories about big fish, small fish, petulant fish, fish who don't return your calls. <laughs> you know, I'll catch them all later. That's what they all say. Maybe I'll give him the book of fish. I don't think my gift would be appreciated. Really? Um. No, I think I'll keep that for now. I'll keep that. Okay, so wh what are we... Okay. Ahoy there, Bill. All right, uh, ahoy. I'm looking for my friend. Have you seen him? Friend? We fisher folk don't have much time to socialize. The only living thing I'd talk to in nigh on 40 days was an over-friendly haddock. Hey, those are the breaks. Thanks anyway. Ahoy! Oh. Do you have a warehouse security pass? Aye, I do. All Tate employees have one. So could I get a job on your boat? Hmm. You're a bit young, you. Couldn't come back in 40 years, could you? Well, no. I, I really need the job now. Oh, I just don't know. You'd have to be in, in the Fisherman's Guild. It's um. sorted already. And there's the fishing rod. A fisherman's got to have a fishing rod. Yeah, no problem. And then there's the yellow waterproof. Well, you can't be a fisherman without a yellow waterproof. Uh, Rain thingy. Hmm. Okay. And finally, there's the fish identification book. Very important. Your fish identification book can't catch something if you don't know what it looks like. Okay. So, if I get all these, I'll, I'll be a fisherman. I don't see why not. It worked for me. Hold on to yourself, Wester. I'll be right back. Meanwhile, elsewhere in Barryville. Probably behind that door. That's horrible! And surely physically impossible! That's nothing. Watch this. Oh! That's worse! Oh dear, this really is too much! <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay. So, we do have... Well, we don't have the fishing rod. We do have the net, though. Oh, I know what he wants. I know. He said we need a yellow something that protects against the rain. We have a red raincoat, but we should probably try to make it yellow. Now, who was it that painted yellow? The only thing I'm worried about is the fishing rod. Are we talking about the net? Or an actual fishing rod? Okay. 
Sorry, I can't do that. Oh, okay. Well, why did you say so? I'm going to save it for later. Okay, we need to talk to him anyway. Hi, Dave. How's life in the art world? Fine, thanks, bud. Um... Yo, Dave, how about a favor? All right, bud. What can I do for you? I noticed... I noticed that sometimes... You, you can actually hear... This is not, like, a high-quality game at all. This is, like, subpar to a LucasArts game. Even though it looks fancy for the time. But, but... You can hear sometimes... It sounds like they're talking in a much more spacious room. Like, the, the quality of the recorded voices differ every every once in a while. They go into, like, it sounds like they're talking, not in a barrel, but, like, there's, like, more echo uh, or reverberance, you know what I mean. Not that it, it's really super noticeable, but there's, like, this slight, slight other type of quality. So you can tell it's, like, a little bit shoddy job. Uh, I need a paint job. I need a paint job. You what? Can you paint this waterproof rain thingy for me? Dave's the name and painting's my game. What colour would you like it? What colours have you got? Any colour you like, old son. As long as it's yellow. That'll do nicely. Thanks. All right, that's it. Well, it's an improvement, I suppose. All right, we'll go back and see if this qualifies me. Otherwise, I'm going to have to find an actual fishing rod as well. Or maybe we can get a fishing rod from the captain. Ahoy there again, Captain! It be my fine young nautical friend. Now what? Hey, nothing. I just want to browse. Then the Captain wishes you well. I should catch something with this. Alright, now let's go back and see if we can... I mean, we can't do anything I'm, more it's here. These young people die, it's okay. Ahoy there, Billy! All right, uh, ahoy, yeah. Hey, Billy, I've got some of the stuff I need. You can't be a fisherman without all the gear. So, can I still have a job? Nope. Come back when you've got all the gear. Men is... Uh, men is... Uh, men is the sailor who never came back because he just weren't properly prepared. Okay. I'll be right back. Well, this is a little bit annoying because we don't get him to repeat what it is that I need. I know we talked about the diction, uh, the book of fish, basically. So we got that. Um, we're in the club, like the the guild, fishman's guild. So that's two out of four. We have a yellow raincoat, so that's three out of four. Now we just need a fishing rod. That's impossible.
I see reality has eluded you again. That would be pointless. Open is a tricky concept. Hmm. Just as well I have the... I think I can see a train in the distance. You want me to do what? No way, dude. You want it, you get it. Maybe that guy can sell us. I can't see a handle. Yo, Tony, you still got the hump with me? Everyone loves a smart Alec. Except me, now beat it, kid. Oh, we can actually talk to him, okay. I can't talk to this guy again unless he comes out of his box. Because I can't enter the box. Hey, that sounds surreal. Fishing rod. I mean, the only place I can imagine is here. I mean, this place is made for getting a fishing rod, but... Ahoy there again! I'm on a mission. You're not... Yeah, well, I've got a... Can't he stay for one of the captain? Hey, some other time? I'm not giving that away. Um, it's these young people today, you see. It's not like it was now, now. Oh, well, there's... Hi, it's Have you located the professor yet? Uh, sadly, the location still eludes my senses. 
That's the way it goes. Thanks anyway. Hello, Mary. How can I help you, dear? Did you hear the the difference in the quality of the of the of the voice acting, or like the 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 quality of the sound? Uh... What can you tell me about pansy? Spring perennial plant. Its companions include forget me, somethings, daisy, um, foxglove, empty rhinum. Oh dear. Bye. Like I don't want to, I don't want to look it up online. I want to try to figure it out on my own. But eventually, if we're like stuck for too long, I'm gonna have no, like no choice. This guy again. No. Fine. Ahoy there, Billy. <clears throat> I'm looking for my friend. Friend, you only look. Hey, those are the. Br I'm not giving away all of my goodies. Try something else. The Gideon Book of Fish. There's one in every hotel room. This is annoying. Hey, how's it going? You again. Can I get into the warehouse? I've told you before. Now up it while you... Yeah, well, I was getting bored anyway. The tropical chainsaw fish, a very rare species. I'm calling the men in the white coats. Well, apparently we can get further to the right here than this. Nurse! Damn it. And I'm also getting tired. Um, I might actually wrap it up here. And continue later. You're totally insane, dude! I mean, I have no ideas right now. Oh, wait. See if we can talk to Vera about his brother. Or cousin or whatever they were. Yeah. Yo, Vera, can I come in? Boy is bad. Get a life, man. Boy asked too many questions. My need is greater than theirs. But what do you need a spoon holder for? I'd like to see the cake that was in there.
Ага. It's a good thing I've got enough brains for both of us. Oh. Fuck. Okay. We got this far without looking at looking up help. But the fishing rod is eluding us too much. I gotta see. I'm sorry. As penalty, though, I'll wrap it up after I find it. Find out. Oh, you're supposed to craft it. Wait a minute. Oh, now I know why I haven't. Because I there we have there's one place we haven't gone to that we haven't searched because I thought. We'd already searched every part of that place. But apparently. Here. There's stuff here. Ouch! They're not as safe as they look. A safe no a safety pin and oh a towel Ugh, I don't think it's been washed in months Ugh, I don't think it's been washed in months hey man take my advice stay off the drugs there's also supposed to be be a band-aid somewhere. Wait. Oh, there it is. No wonder I couldn't see it because it's like there in the middle of the two faucets. Look at look. How how am I supposed to see that that is a freaking band-aid? 
Wow. Of course. They're all right if you pull them quickly. All right, now we have everything from this room. Good lord. Well, no wonder I couldn't find those things. <gasps> And we are also supposed to get this string that is hanging down here. Okay, right on. Now combine... Excuse me? No, uh, combine... The hell was it? Hey, buddy, try this one. Use brain to think of sensible suggestion. Wait. There we go. That's the fishing line. Yeah, you have, you have to craft it, apparently. Sorry, I can't do that. All right. Now the final part for the fishing rod. And then... We'll uh, wrap it up for tonight. Oh, yeah. We actually... This is the Band-Aid. We're using the Band-Aid on the sprinkler. There we go. Why are we... Why did we do that, though? That's impossible. Okay, whatever. Um... Wait, why the hell did we need to do that with the band-aid? It's supposed to have more stuff. Wait, what? That's not... Po Did I miss that? I'm supposed to have a pair of pliers as well. I thought I looked everywhere here. No, no, that's bullshit. That is bullshit that I did not see that. That is such... I hate to bullshit. imagine what these were used for. Alright. Um, it's these young people to die, you say it's I keep missing a lot of the stuff here, but can you really blame me? There's a lot of pixelation, you know. Although the pliers, I feel like I should have seen that when I like screamed the whole workbench with my my cursor hey aren't branches fractal objects or something caffeine must be making
I see reality has eluded you again. Now we do have a fishing rod, but we're supposed to do something with pliers. Oh! Oh, so we get bait. Okay, that was talk to worm, really. I did not expect that. Worm is rigorous, I think. Hey, worm, how's it going? Today. Never better. Thanks for asking. Would you mind being bait? So, what are you doing? Digging the vent tunnel for Mineshaft 11. Mineshaft 11? Ah, that's right. One of 35. And they're an engineering miracle, if I do say so myself. Pre-stressed concrete cross beams, overhead steel cord support. Whoa, hey, that's enough. What, you don't want to hear about the twin board pneumatic earth mover? Uh, no. Well, that's your loss. I'll take that chance. Hi, Worm, I'm back. Hey, it's that giant. I'm looking for my friend. He looks strangely familiar. Ah, yes, I saw him with Mr. Tate some time ago. Here, in the park. Over there, behind statue. Did you see what happened? No, sorry. I'm only a little worm. But a little worm with a big heart. Oh, God, I think I'm going to be sick, bloody hell. Gee, thanks. I guess that's what you get when you try to bond with a worm. Hi, worm, I'm back. Hey, it's that... Have you seen anything suspicious recently? Well, I did see a big evil crow eyed in ink rhododendrons. Hmm, it's not quite what I had in mind. What about a fat sparrow with hungry grin? Can sparrows grin? They can when they spot lunch. Lunch? Look, do I have to spell it out? No, I think I can guess. Well, thanks anyway. Any time. Hi, worm. Hey. Yeah. Can you act as bait? I need a favor. Can you help? Yeah, why not? It involves a fishing rod. A fishing rod? Am I going to like this? Yeah, uh, I need to become a fisherman and I need a fishing rod. Will it hurt? You won't feel a thing. Well, okay then. Though I think I may regret this. So surreal. I can't even talk to him now. I don't see any way to open it. Wait. Next. Oh, I can't actually do that? Okay, never mind then. Oh, that's something? I thought it was a shadow. This thing. Like it was some kind of... Okay. A tea bag that's completely waterproof. Neat. Alright, take it. All right, cool. I got a lot of stuff. And I got a fishing rod. I should be a certified fisherman now. So I'm going to move. I'm going to go back to the docks. And then we're going to wrap it up. For tonight. Um, the docks. All right. Let's save here. There we go. And save that one. Yes. All right. Let me just make sure that everything is looking good. Load that one. Yeah, everything looks good. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Guys, thank you for uh, showing up or staying with me or whatever. Like, if you're here... 
I'm so tired I can't even talk. If you've been here and not said anything, regardless, thank you for uh, your silent company. Um, I will... This is Thursday, yeah, so most likely there will be no stream tomorrow. Might be, but it kind of depends. If I don't stream tomorrow, I will be returning on Monday with some more Shovel Knight, and then we'll complete... Uh, we'll continue in Bud Tucker's Double Trouble on Tuesday. But... Before I go, if you want to, you can always check out the Discord, which is reachable through that link. That is where you always get the latest message, get latest news and updates regarding the channel. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm really tired now, so I'm going to go to bed. But uh, yeah, take it easy. Remember to mind social distance and stay safe and always keep the retro legacy alive. Ziggle Byte 83, wishing you the best. Take care. Good night. Goodbye.